Hi guys, Muskan Agarwal here again. So, um, in last video, we have discussed about how all the components which we studied in system design works uh, when in one place, right? So, it's been a long time we have discussed any new topic. Like in last video, we have come across a component, a word that is CDN. So, let's try to discuss that in this video. Basically, CDN is a content delivery network. It's a third-party service provider uh, similar to DNS, domain name system, right? Don't confuse between them. These are two different terms, domain name system and CDN. Domain name system is to give up, give the mapping of a server uh, in, with respect to their server name. They give us the IP addresses of the server. While CDN, it is to store the data. It's basically a cache, right? Understand CDN as a cache, which stores static data of the website. And uh, whenever a user interacts with a website, all the static data is loaded from the CDN rather than from our server. Why CDN is used? Why is it is an essential component? Because it re reduces the latency, it reduces the load time, and it improves the customer satisfaction or customer interaction with our website. Okay, so now CDNs are always configured to the nearest location of the user so that the data is loaded as quickly as possible. Right. If I'm in India and I'm trying to access a website which is in US, right, and CDN is also configured, like servers are in the US, CDN is in the US, so it will, the load time for that, uh, like accessibility for my request, the response time for my request will be a lot, uh, like more than the, than the user, which is in the US and trying to, trying to access it in the same website. Why? Because the servers are in the US, like I'm in the India, right, I'm the client. I'm trying to access a server's website and CDN is also configured like server as well as CDN both are in US. So I have made a request to the US website. Now the response time uh, would be greater like suppose let's say around 150 millisecond right while for the user in India or oh, user in US. If it makes the request, same request to the server's website and the CDN, which both are in, again, in US. So the response time will be very less. Let's say, suppose 30 or 50 milliseconds. Why so? Because the CDN, so CDN is a cache and it can, uh, like, it can give you data as quickly as possible, but that data is transferred through the network like content delivery network, right? It delivers through a network. De a network introduces some latency when the locations are far away, right? So CDN is an essential component when you have multiple users in different geographical locations. So you configure a uh, CDN nearest to the user so that the data is quickly accessed. It has, it does not has to, uh, like it does not have to go to your server to load the user data. Why? Because in the, on the websites, all users see the same data, right? The same images, same text, same URLs and everything. It's not user specific. Some components are uh, user independent. So that components could be stored in the CDN and they could uh, like eliminate the request made to the servers. And this in turn improves the load time as well as the reduce the latency and customer satisfaction. Right. So that's all about CDN. I hope you understood this. If you have any doubts, please do drop in the comment section. Thank you.